Hello, everyone, and welcome to Random, Random Things, Things I've, I've Had to Do. Today, we're going to be putting text on a golf ball. Golf balls typically have very strong and bold printing on them, which is great for us because it means we don't have to do a lot to make it look convincing. I'm going to start with this pretty basic image of a golf ball in Photoshop, and then I'm actually going to duplicate this layer. This layer is going to become my highlight, so I'm going to rename it highlights, and then I'm going to turn off my base layer for now. I'm also going to create a solid color of just some dark color so I can better see what I'm working with when I'm working on the highlights, and I'm going to move that to the bottom of the layers. Now I'm going to double click on this gray open space that's to the right of my highlights layer, and that's going to open up the layer styles panel. Now I'm only really concerned about the blend if section that is at the bottom of this panel. Now the blend if controls tell Photoshop to make pixels disappear if they are darker than a certain value by controlling the slider on the left, or make pixels disappear if they are lighter than a certain value by controlling the slider on the right. So to isolate only the lightest values of this golf ball, I'm going to take my left slider and drag it almost all the way over to the right side, and you can start to see the darker values disappearing as I drag it over. The result I get is pretty harsh, so I'm going to press Alt while I click on that slider again to split it, which allows me to create a much more gradiated feel and gather a lot more of the in-between colors to make it much smoother. After playing with it for a little bit, this is the result that I'm happy with, and now I'm just going to set my highlights layer to the lighten color mode, and I'm going to turn back on my base layer. Now I'm just going to add in my text here. At this point, you have the option to add more dimension by adding a spherize filter to your text by first taking your circular marquee tool and selecting around the area of your circle. Remember to hold shift as you're selecting to keep it a perfect circle, and if you need to move your selection, hold the space bar and it allows you to move the selection without resizing. You can then go filter, distort, and spherize to create the effect, although you'll have to convert your text to a smart object or rasterize it to continue. Set your values to what you want and then press OK to see the result. This likely won't be necessary, however, because golf balls typically have very straight printing that's not distorted by the curvature of the ball anyway. Now I'm just going to move my text layer below my highlights layer and set my highlights layer's opacity to about 60%. So now the highlight side of the ball looks great, but the shadows aren't getting picked up in the text at all, and the shadow side of the text looks flat by comparison. To fix this, I'm going to duplicate my text layer and rename it to be Text Shadows. I'm also going to hide my main text layer so that I can see the effects I'm about to apply to this new layer. I'm going to change my Text Shadows blending mode to be Color Burn, and now you can start to see the shadows form on that darker side of the ball. Uh, yeah, we can, we can all see it. You don't. You can, you can, we can, yeah, we can see it. Thank you. Now I need to rasterize the effect that the blending mode had on that text. And the best way I found to do this is to duplicate the base golf ball layer and merge it with the text shadows layer by dragging my golf ball duplicate layer up under the text shadows layer, selecting both layers, and then right clicking on the golf ball duplicate and selecting merge layers from the list that comes up. Now I will isolate just the text from this newly merged layer by holding command while I click on the T icon on my base text layer. Then with my text shadows layer selected, I will click on the mask icon to create a mask around everything that is not the text. I can now show my base text layer again and I'll change the blending mode of my text shadows layer to soft light, leaving only the shadows of this text behind. And I'll change the opacity of this layer to about 70%. And there you have it. That is how I add text to a golf ball and make sure to keep the shadows and highlights pretty realistic to how it looks on real golf balls. Uh, please share and like if you liked and uh, please let me know what you think or if you have any better ways of doing it. Thank you.